now, direct from a triumphant tour of Australia, Hong Kong, Singapore, and England, is one of the most original illusionists in the world of ledger domain, the great Virgil. Now we're about ready to go into the spirit world. And if you don't mind, I'd like you for you to act as a committee, a spirit circle. Now, first, we have previously nailed a board to a platform. I wonder, Gary, would you like to look at it to be sure it's really nailed solidly? Yes, and I would like to also vouch for the fact to the audience that none of the four of us here know anything about how this works. This is not a set-up job. That, that is secure, sir. Now, you've already been given pieces of cotton bandages. And Julie will act as a spirit medium. I'm going to ask you to please bring your bandages over. We'll tie them securely about her wrists, about her ankles, and about her neck. All right. Do I have an ankle? You may tie the ankle, if you will, please. I know which part to take. Put on a sailor's square knot here. She'll turn around, we'll tie her wrists behind her back. and nails, I'm going to ask you to please nail her down to the floor and to the back of the board. Nail her to the floor and the back of the board. In the back, you went to the back of your feet. Very well done, gentlemen. Would you be seated in your chairs, please? All right. Now, gentlemen, are you all thoroughly convinced you've really tied her securely and have nailed her well to the floor and to the board? Yes. Are you all convinced you've done yep. a good job? Very well. I will now place her into a deep hypnotic trance. While in that condition, we will call upon the spirits to carry out their various manifestations in the cabinet. call attention to a hammer, also a board into which we have started two nails. I will now call upon the spirit carpenters to please drive the nails into the board. Would you step into the cabinet, please, gentlemen? Examine her carefully. Examine her wrist, her neck, her ankles to be sure she's still fastened. Now you will notice the nails have been driven entirely through the board. Uh, 
I would like to borrow somebody's coat. Could I borrow your coat? Do you have anything in your pocket you would like to remove? Loose change, watch, pocketbook, knife, bottles, anything you might happen to have in your pocket <laughs> might fall out. No bottles. Thank you kindly, and you may be seated if you will, please. And we will treat your coat with respect. And with a gentleman's coat, I'm going to show you something bordering on the supernatural. I will now call upon the spirits to please put on the gentleman's coat. <laughs> I want you to notice that she actually has the coat on. The arms are really through the sleeves, out the back. Yet she's still nailed to the back of the board. Is that correct? Absolutely. Um, would you like to be seated in your chairs once more? This time I will call upon the spirits to please remove the gentleman's coat. Are you good? <laughs> Thank you so much. Now we come to the part of the spirit seance in which I invite somebody to go into the cabinet with Julie. Would you like to volunteer? Yeah, I will see how this is done. Take a chair, please, in the cabinet. Where, this side? Well, I'll If you will. Now, of course, if you are going into the cabinet, you wouldn't mind, would you, if I would place a cotton bandage about your eyes. You know, it's clean that the spirit always work better in the dark. And this will make the spirits think that you're in the dark. Oh, boy. Now, if you will turn around, please, and be seated on the chair. Just sit right over there. Don't sit down till I touch. That's it. Right there, if you will, please. Okay. I might mention that many times when a gentleman sits in the cabinet with Julie during one of these spirit manifestations, that they feel cold chills running up and down their spine. And cold, clammy hands touching them on the shoulder. Oh, boy. Now, once more, watch the front, watch the back, watch the spirits at play. Weird. Weird. She didn't move. <laughs>